Hi everyone, it is Natalie from Being Intentionally Creative and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. We are going to make a couple of Christmas ornaments today and I know it's a little bit of a smaller scale than what you're used to seeing with me but there's a reason I'm just doing these two pieces. I, The Christmas ornaments, I be, if I'm not mistaken, I believe these are by Let's Resin. And the reason I'm making these is because, da da da, I did this. Can you see? I bought the Let's Resin Polyurethane Resin. And I have a little bit of a story to tell you with this. No, it was not sent to me. But interestingly enough, when Prime Days were on and they were the 8th and 9th of October, I went on to Amazon.com. In Canada, on Amazon.ca, this stuff is retailing for approximately between $100 and $110 Canadian plus tax. I went on to the .com, and they had it there for about, what, $42 US? And if I signed up as a Prime member, I got it for to what was it, thirty-seven dollars U.S. So I did a comparison between Canada and U.S. And at the end of the day, this cost me in Canadian it was between seventy and seventy-five dollars Canadian versus what I would have paid for it on the Canadian website. Now, I could have just done it as, you know, the regular price of 42 because that's still a great deal. I never thought I would be one of those people who would go on to the dot-com website and buy stuff from Amazon because I just didn't think it was worth my while. And even with the shipping and everything, it was still a lot less than the Canadian. So as much as I was trying to be one of these people who was not buying off the dot-com, I've gotten to the point where now I am. So I bought it. Let's go through it, and then we're going to uh, check it out, see how it works. It, I'm not expecting it to be a lot different than the Illumilite, but again, it's a different product by a different company, so let's see what it does, and then I'll get into what I'm putting into it. So, it does have an expiry date on the top of this, which is the 8th of March next year, or it's August. I never know. Everybody does their dates different, but anyway, so it's next year. It has... A 10 minute fast cure, low viscosity, low odor. Working time is two minutes. My Illuminite is not two minutes. My Illuminite, I think, is like 40 seconds if I'm lucky. So I actually want to test out to see if my working time is actually two minutes. And I really should have my uh, phone down here to see if it is. The ratio is one to one by volume or weight. So let's get these out. Now, there are some people on other channels who are commenting about the color of the bottles and why they're black versus white. So don't know that. Now, I am noticing. So it looked like it could have leaked a little bit, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But let's get the stuff out of here. I will put my gloves on. That should be the first thing I do now that I've noticed it's leaked. So I might send a message off to the company just to let them know that I bought these, that the one bottle has leaked. Which, I mean, I don't... Like I say, when I use this type of product, I'm using it because I want to make something fast. Yeah, so okay, let's I'm just checking out the rest of the box. I want to make sure that it is just around the top. So I sometimes think heat or cold can uh, be part as to why some things leak. We'll have a look at the lid. This other container, so this is B and it looks fine. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. See, so there's a spot here at the side as well from A. So, encountered a problem, we're here to help. Contact us if you experience leakage. 
uh, received a used product, missing parts, resin not cured. So we'll definitely keep this. And yeah. So we'll keep that. We'll let it let them know that it did it did leak. Uh, they did send so they sent gloves with it. Uh, let me see, and there's a bit of the resin on that, so let me get rid of that. And hopefully it's it's sealed and just like has its uh, protective seal on it. Okay, we'll just throw those off to the side because I don't need those right now. All right. All right, so that's still on it. So that's good. The, that lid's on it. Bear with me, I want to wipe everything up as we go along. And the lid, it may be a simple fact of the lid wasn't on quite right. It wasn't on tight enough and I'll sort of take note of that with the other one to see if it was on because I just sort of unscrewed this so it may not have been on tight enough. I'm always really cautious when I take these out because I don't want to be whipping any of the product anywhere. Come on. There we go. So there. Yeah, so a little bit of the liquid had gotten up into the inside of this. So just cleaning that up before I throw that out. I don't keep them in. I don't know if, if that's a... You know what? Maybe I will keep these. I've never done that before, keeping the inside of this lid. So if you have, and there's like sort of a reason for doing that. I mean, now that it's here, I don't really worry about it too much. Anyways, you know what? I'm not going to keep them. I haven't in the past. Why would I know? So I'm just going to cover that one back up. That's the A. Let's just wipe down the bottom of this. I have a plastic sheet down on my table here so it doesn't really matter but I do I'm a little I'm, yeah I like keeping things as clean as I can <laughs> spend most of the video trying to open up containers right okay so you know what and that's the one thing that I have found annoying with some of these is the issue of trying to get this part, this the B one open? I don't know what the dealio is with them. Sugar plum fairies. <laughs> okay. The Illumilite's the same way with these darn bottle bees. And I don't know why they do that. Oops, there we are. So there's a little bit of um, crusting going on around this bottle. Yeah, you can probably see it better there. Right. So I'm going to mention that to them because I don't I don't know whether it's because of what the product is. When I say that, like what's in Part B, but I'll mention that to them as well because I really, to be honest, I don't want it gets sediment in it as it sits and I don't really want to get that in the inside so let's get this out oh man holy crap holy that's hard to get out oh wow I feel like that's stuck on there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, I would have gotten some of that stuff inside of it. Well, it's good for you to see this, right? <laughs> um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba Oh, I'm not even sure how to do this because I want it. I don't want it in my stuff. Yeah, I'm probably getting it in anyways, aren't I? So I'm definitely going to mention this to them. 
Maybe what I need to do is take my uh, tape and try and clean that out because at least then I'll get it. Well, oh, wasn't that an adventure for you on this video? So I'll be mentioning that to them. It was very hard to get the lid off of B. And then it had... No, I, I don't even know what it... What would you call that stuff? So I'm going to be very... Yeah. Okay, well I can come back to that later, right? As far as cleaning this up goes. I just won't put the lid straight back on. So I hope everyone's doing well, having fun being creative and however that looks to you, and doing some really cool projects. So I have to be very careful that I remember that B, the lid's not on tight. All right, let's get that stuff out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. Alrighty. Well, wasn't that an adventurous five minutes for you? All right. So I have some mixing containers here. I have this tree. If I have any leftovers, I'll put them in there. What are we putting in this? Well, I'm not actually going to mix this alcohol ink into the resin, not in this project anyways. I'm just going to sort of squirt it and see how the polyurethane uh, works on that. I also have, and I, I'm not going to tell you anything about this. I know, keep it as a bit of a surprise, but I'm wanting to try out something that I got from another channel, and I promise I will um, link them uh, if this works, or and do a, a better video in the next one, but I have something not magical in this, but just something I'm trying using a product I've already got here at home, but I'm not... I'm not feeling it's going to make much of a difference in what I'm doing and so I don't want to I want to sort of share that with you until I find out whether it's going to work because I just don't want to so we'll we'll keep that as a little secret for right now but I do promise I'll share it with you if it works out so what colors have we got here we have poppy field and we have limeade and I, I guess I'm kind of going for a Christmas theme here right red or red or green now I did mark on these that this takes 40 mils there are these little um, silicone pieces that can go in if you want to make a hole uh, through your ornament I know I have the extra one somewhere in my stash and I have no idea where I love when I hide things on myself but anyways they're around somewhere but I'm not going to worry about them today and this one has one as well uh, but again not going to do these 45 mils for this one uh, 40 for this I'm going to do them each separately and yeah so let's get going we've wasted enough time trying to open these so and I measure and then I eyeball because I as much as I'm using the same types of cups do I trust it all the time uh, not really I like measuring and then eyeballing it to make sure I've got them okay I know some people can just they just measure it like just pour and go and I seriously can't do that I do need a stick so let me get one of my sticks okay so let's do this and Again, like usual, I always have the bottom of these containers marked, and I have to find a way of marking these so I don't forget which is, you know, I have to pay special attention or just get some, <clears throat> I have vinyl lettering in one of my other rooms that I can put on. So let's start with B. So we're doing We'll do the small one first. So it's going to take 40. And because we're so close, I'm going to have to hold this up. All right. 
was almost going to pour it into the other one as well. That would have worked out well for me, wouldn't it have? So I'm really liking the idea. If it's if they're true about the two minutes, I think that's fabulous. Let's just very carefully put that one off to the side. That would be fabulous. Having forty or two minutes. That's a definite uh See, A, the lid on A is just like super sweet and easy to get off. I don't get it with B. Don't get it at all. Oops, definitely. No, I got too much in that one. That definitely went overboard. So for any of you who are here in Canada... We got frost last night, and I mean, we got, it would have been a killer frost that we got here last night. Woke up, got a picture of it posted on Facebook of, yep, we got frost, but it's supposed to be, when you see this video, the weekend's already going to have passed, but it's going to be a beautiful weekend here, or they say it's going to be a beautiful weekend. So that'll be nice, but yeah, it was uh, definitely cold last night so eyeing this up Ooh, I like when I do it on the first go all right so let's put that back on a now and all my brilliance of uh, not having something to mix this in I did uh, blow out, blow these out before I was going to use them. Okay, so let's get this going. So if you've used this Let's Resin polyurethane. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Like I said, I just, I got to the point, I couldn't pass up, I couldn't pass up the deal of getting this at a prime price. And I don't know how long I'm going to be a prime member on the U.S. site. I am on sense to me and I don't mind paying for it. I just, I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to keep it going um, on the U.S. I just want to get my lids off as well. Back. Okay, let's just throw this over here. I can go there. Alrighty. I really, I, when I, when we do the next one, I'll bring my phone over here and we'll time it and see if we get two minutes out of this. Like you definitely don't have to rush, which is, an, that's something I find with the Illumilite. I mean, when you've only got 40 seconds, I mean, you, you pour fast, don't you? And I think the other th thing that's going to be nice is if I use one of those other containers to pour in there then I mean again you've still got some extra time now I'll let you know that in the bottom of this cup and maybe you know the polyurethane it's sort of it's making the bottom of the cup look look translucent in places so this may not be the optimal uh, type of cup to use. I should probably be using silicone. Now, I'm trying to figure out if, if it's getting warm or if it's just me getting <laughs> me getting hot. <laughs> so let's just take one of these down so I can get it out because yeah sometimes pouring is a bit of a nightmare out of cups like this. So it's definitely clear. It looks mixed. 
Now I think it's getting warm. So let's pour it in here. Okay, so we'll start with that. Like I say, I'm just going to put some alcohol ink to start. And we're going to have to be somewhat careful, don't take that, with the making sure this gets in everywhere it needs to go. But if we have two minutes to play with this, that'll be really cool. Because then I don't have to rush when I'm doing stuff like this. Like if it's truly got a two minute work time. Now it looks like it's got a fair number of bubbles in it and I don't know if that means anything. And the reason I wanted to try alcohol ink was because with some of the pieces I've made in the past, using the Illumilite, like it does do a nice blending. Now I know I have some air bubbles and I've got to be careful. Yeah, I have some air bubbles in this. Yeah. Let's see if I can work those out a little bit. Never thought of using the stick to do that before. All right, I think it's, yeah, see, and it's starting to set. Now, have I been two minutes with this? I really don't know, but yeah, it's already starting to set. So I'm not sure if we do have two minutes of work time with this. So I just want to put that off to the side. Yeah, so that's, wow. Ten minute work yeah it says working time is two minutes I'm not sure we had two minutes there so I'm definitely going to get out my and I oops <laughs> so that's happening there so that is uh yeah I, I don't know that you would have two minutes now no it was curing in there so I was almost thinking well if I hadn't put the alcohol ink with that but there was no alcohol ink in that so I'm kind of curious about that. I'm not sure we have two minutes of working time. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to set that off to the side and let it let it do its let it do its thing. I'm going to go on a quick pause. I want to grab my phone because I want us to time. I want us to time it and see if, you know, we have, and I definitely didn't need 40 mils on that either. So, um, yeah. Okay. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Got my phone back. I'm just going to set up for two minutes, my timer. Uh, to do to do to do. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. No, come back. Okay, so we've got that on two minutes now. I said 45 for this one. Now, the one If I had decided to do this with regular two-part epoxy, we'd have more time to work on the air bubbles. So I'm not uh, going to knock it too much if I have air bubbles in this because I really don't have a lot of time to work with it. So maybe what we'll do with this one. Yeah, that's not going to be a fair comparison. I was going to, I was almost going to say what I would do is I would just, you know, add the alcohol into uh, the resin directly, but I don't want to do that because I want to see if just by itself how much time we actually have uh, to play with this. 
So we will do up, we'll do just a little bit more than 40 mils this time. And oh, <laughs> here's hoping this time instead of me wasting what I did, I can actually get it into the tree. That would be nice. close. I don't think I did. Feeling pretty confident that I need more and B. Wow, and I'm getting all of this stuff all over my hands. Okay, Maybe just a little bit more and B. I was almost going to say if I had a pipette I'd probably be able to do This easier. I'm getting some spillage on it too around the, the lip of this. Alrighty. Okay, now I've got a little too much in B. No, I've got, still got too much in A, don't I? Yeah, I do. Darn it. <laughs> so your patience as I try and do this. And I don't trust my scale enough to measure this stuff out. I don't have a problem using it with the mixed mold, but I, I do have a bit of an issue trying to use it with this stuff. All right, we're good now. Okay. Once I pour A in, I won't even, like, I'll s start the timer then. And we'll see. And it's kind of surprising that they would say you have two minutes of working time just because of what it is. All right, so I'm gonna have to do that. like a bunny because I have a passcode on my phone as well. So that's gonna... Oh, sugar plum fairies. Give me a second, people. Okay, now I had to take my glove off, so I will be very careful with this. I don't recommend it, but I do want to see if... Uh, oh, man. Okay. I 
it's given me more time than I wanted to, so I have to think about where I started. Okay. Yeah, I can, with my glove off, I can feel it warming up. So it definitely, I think it warms up a lot quicker than the Illumilite does. Okay, I feel like it's set up and well mixed. Okay. So it is pretty much at the two minute working time period. On this one. So I'll give it I'll give it the credit for that. For sure. So yeah, it, it had about two minutes, so there you go. Use my lighter to get rid of some of those bubbles. It does have a lot of again, I don't know whether that's because I'm not mixing it up quick enough. I, I don't recall seeing that many, that many bubbles in the Illumilite when I've used it. Oh, you know what I didn't use? I didn't use any of this. So let me see if I can quickly add some of this and see what happens. I totally missed the boat on this one. Let's see if it does anything. I might have to, I might have to do a piece separately with this. <laughs> It's one of those, just tell us what it is, Natalie. And it's like, no, not just yet. <sighs> it's been a while since my batteries died, but that's exactly what it did. So we've just plugged in, come back. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to let this sit for the 10 minutes. So I'm just going to look at, I'm going to shut that off, my timer off, get rid of that. Okay, so it's a, Based on this, I'll be back in, say, about 15 minutes, just to give this one a little extra time. Uh, that one will be fine, and then we'll take it out, and we'll see how they look. And again, uh, my drops that I put on that, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a separate piece, because that's not doing what I wanted it to do. All right, we will be back shortly with this. We're back, and while I was away... I decided to make a Christmas tree. It's It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. It's still very warm. Where are we? It's still very warm, which is fine. Uh, we'll take it out last. And then I'll sort of tell you about what I mixed up. I was hoping, have you ever put something away? It's like the, the little pieces for this. You put stuff away and then you can't find it. So I was looking for the Light Wish, the starry, product that I had bought because I wanted to put it in with my tree and for the life of me I couldn't find them then I thought I wonder if and then I found them after I'd already done the piece I seriously have to do some more organizing of my stuff as you can tell all right one thing I did want to point out to you I did read through these directions while I was uh, away from the camera now it did mention in here okay so a note on the back is, pour the mixture onto the lowest place of the container and let the mixture find its level, which I didn't do. 
This will great, greatly help minimize air trapping. For best results, place it in a vacuum machine for 30 seconds after mixing. I don't have a vacuum machine. And if you were going to do it for those 30 seconds, then you're going to obviously have to cut down on the time that you actually, like your mixing time, right, to give that 30 seconds. Because I can't imagine mixing it for two minutes, throwing it in there for 30 seconds. I, th I think you would run out of time and it would start to set. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to point that it says you can do that uh, in vacuum machine. Like I said, I don't have one. But it is good to know about, you know, it finding its level, which that's something I didn't know about polyurethane resin. So I'm kind of glad that I took the time to walk through it. It does have a frequently asked questions section in this. And let's see, there was nothing else that really caught my attention f when I read through those. But the note at the bottom about the vacuum machine, I guess if you happen to have one. Anyway, so, and I'll, I'll sort of tell you a little, little bit of a story about this. And I will link, um, it's Reptiles and Resin that had done something similar but different. So I will link that video in the description. So let's get these two out and, and see what happened. So as you can see, the product that I sort of was making up on my own uh, didn't fare very well just spritzing it on here. I did use it in my tree, so we'll see if it makes any kind of difference. Again, we're working with the white, so we have to keep that in mind. Let's uh, see about getting these out. I always found with this mold, it was the starting it that was the fun part. <laughs> Pulling it up, and, and I'll have to, I, like, I'm going to have to clean this mold out. Oops. Okay. So uh, let's go this way instead. <laughs> So I don't rip my mold. A weak part on it. Again, that's where the other uh, piece was for the ornament. So me pulling on it just a little too hard. So I'm definitely going to have some cleaning up to do with this piece, which is fine. And I'll have to clean up. So sometimes, you know, throwing the alcohol in like I did with this, it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't, you know, come out quick quite the way you want it to so I will clean up these spots with some some alcohol that I have Ooh, but on this side not too shabby I also see where I can drill my hole for the um, ornament but not actually that's not too bad on this side it's got some it's got some cleaning up to do. I, I will admit to that. I was like I said, I wanted to play with the alcohol and see what we could do. So I will clean that up later. But not too shabby, eh? Okay. Uh, let's do this one. So let's again. We'll start at a spot where. Yeah, this one really made a mess. So depending on what you, like it does work. I, I want you to know it does work putting alcohol in like that with some of the pieces I've done. It, it has worked. So I'm not, it's not a total fail when you do that. That's all I'm saying. And again, I like just playing to see what I can do. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have definitely cleaning up on the molds to do. So that's, and I got a huge air bubble on this one. But not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Just something different. Again, you you do you. You decide what's going to work best for you. I just need to get some alcohol on this to get it off my, my hands. And absolutely wear gloves when you're working with this stuff. As I said, in order to get into my phone, I had to take my glove off. That's the only reason I took my glove off when we were working on these pieces. All right. So for our Christmas tree, I mixed the alcohol ink right in. And I also put some of my magical mixture, if you even want to call it that, in and then mixed it up and poured it.
And I don't think my magical mixture is going to do quite... I didn't put a lot in, but I put enough in. So we'll just let that sit. And I had some extra left over that I threw in there. Okay, so here's my tree with the alcohol mixed in it. It is still warm. And I can't really see sort of the glitter. So what did I do? Okay. So reptiles and resin, I believe she had taken chameleon flakes and she put them into alcohol and she broke them down in order to make her own sort of, um, I, I'll call it a glitter, if you will, that she used in one of the pieces she was making. I was watching her video and it got me thinking about the Dispress Spritz, Dispress Spritz by Ranger. I know this is water-based, so before you, you know, I get it, it's a water-based product. So I took some of this, I put it into this bottle, I added alcohol, 99% alcohol. The micas that are in this settled to the bottom, I poured off the liquid, put some more alcohol in it, poured that off, and then just added a little bit more. Now, the the mica that's in the product is settling really quickly. It doesn't take much for it to settle. I figure, do, do I have most of the water out of it? Yeah, that's a, that's a hit and miss kind of thing for me to say. I don't know. But I thought it, you know, I was thinking, well, that's what she had done. I wanted to sort of experiment with the Distress Spritz to see what I could do. It might be a better test if I used two-part epoxy and mixed it in to see what it would do. I guess I'm sort of trying to mimic even the Light Wish with their Starry product. But it's hard to see in this. I can't really tell. But it, it was something I played with and it definitely didn't, uh, it didn't work on the bottom of this. So, I mean, again, it's one of those things I like to play and see if something will work or if it won't work. It worked for reptiles and resin. Um, I'm not really sure. I figured I had lots of it, so that's why I decided to play with it. So there you have it. It's really about the Let's Resin and their two, and their polyurethane. So, I give it a thumbs up for the fact that I can pretty much work close to two minutes with it before I have to pour it. I wouldn't want to wait any longer than that. I think alcohol, inks, like I mix, mixed it in here. So if you mix it in, it seems to be fine. It doesn't seem to mess with the curing process at all. These look messy. I'll give you that. I have managed to throw alcohol ink in polyurethane before and gotten some really cool results. Uh, the containers don't like this so hard to take the cap off of the B part. So I haven't put it back on completely tight for that reason. It did have a little bit of leakage on the A. Don't really like that. I will be reaching out to them on that. The so the crusting around part B, again, not really fussy on that, but, you know, I don't know what's in the product to cause it to do it. The one thing I will say I really like a part, about part B with the Let's Resin is it was clear, which really impressed me because with the Illumilite, their part B, anytime I've bought it, this has always been this sort of apple juice color. It's never been clear. Uh, and I don't, again, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but the Let's Resin was clear and I like that. And it makes me feel more comfortable using it in that it may not yellow like I found some of my Illuminite pieces have over time. I think anything will change color over time, whether it's you know, regular two-part epoxy, whether it's polyurethane, I just, you know, in things that are in the sun and in daylight, I mean, they fade over time. I don't know how you prevent that, but I definitely like that that is clear, the part beyond that. So overall, I think the bonus of it is you can mix it for almost two minutes, which is brilliant. You're not, you know, rushing to get it done. 
I like the, the size of containers it comes into. From a price point value, yes, I definitely believe that the Let's Resin has a much better price point to it. Whether so more so from buying it in the U.S. versus buying it here in Canada, but I still think from a price point over the Illumilite, it is a better value because you do get more for what you're paying for. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I needed to try, wanted to try it. I hope you're finding this video helpful and yeah, if you've used it, I'd love to know your experiences with it, what you think about it. And I kind of wish I could, you know, um, well, let's see, we'll just put this on here and see if we can bend it. Oh, it's got a little flexibility. This is a fairly thick piece too. Uh, so that's not, maybe not a fair comparison, but, um, I mean, right now it's got a bit of bend in it, but I know that that's going to get even harder, um, sort of as, as it sits for a little bit longer, but yeah, so overall it's going to be great for me to use that. I'll use up the rest of my other product first, my Illuminite, and then we will start doing more pieces with the Let's Resin. So that's it. That's my video. Again, we are getting, I am very excited to say we are getting, we're close to 900 now, and I'm very excited uh, to reach a thousand subscribers. So thank you everyone who's been watching. Uh, thank you for your comments, your input, your thoughts in general. I really appreciate it. Have a great creative day, whatever you decide to get up to. I hope you found uh, this somewhat useful. Uh, as far as knowing how the Let's Resin Polyurethane work, works. And we will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye for now.